check this out before I start the video. Well, I'm starting the video. All right, that's Sunset Boulevard right there. All right, come on, dude, just back up. You got lots of room, lots of room. Don't, just go faster, go by me. Just, I'm standing here. Um, so this is uh, Sunset Plaza Drive we're on right now, but this is Sunset Boulevard right here. But take a look, right there. That says Montgomery Management Company. But in the movie, Scarface. Remember the one where he says, say hello to my little friend. He says it exactly like that. This is Montana, Tony Montana. I can't do it. This was Montana Management, right here. Right over Sunset Boulevard. The whole film film's mostly in Miami. There's a few shots here. I always thought it was that building when I drove, I drive up and down Sunset. I was like, oh yeah, there it is, there it is. But it's not, it's this one here. So it looks the exact same. It's Montgomery management. So another gangster named Montgomery doesn't have the same flow as Montana. But yeah. Sunset. Hey, dude, put a shirt on. It's November. I mean, it's California, but still. Dude, come on. Um, yeah, this is... Uh, okay, that's what I want to show you. World famous Sunset Boulevard. Montana management. We're going up Sunset... Uh, Plaza Drive, and then we're gonna make a right on Belfast, and I'm gonna show you something really cool. Okay, Tony. Okay. <laughs> okay, Desi Arnaz. I think it sounds more like Desi Arnaz. I'm working on accents. I know you're gonna dig this. Dude, get out of my shot. I'll save you in a minute. <sighs> yeah, that's it. That's it. Oh, look at the recycling in the garbage containers. <sighs> There's probably rich stuff in there. What's going on, everybody? How you doing today? So here I am, way up in the Hollywood Hills. Actually, not at all. About maybe half a mile up in the Hollywood Hills. They go, real well, look. I don't, have to tell, I don't have to tell you. I can just show you way up way up now the thing about the Hollywood Hills is besides that they're always quiet and round round not really though it's always really quiet but what's cool is here when you drive around look at all these houses here there's just massive huge houses Hollywood Hills Beverly Hills Brentwood I mean you got you go, you, go, you go, rich, massively rich, really rich, Brentwood. I, I'd say. I think mean, Beverly Hills and Bel Air are probably the most rich. Yeah, let's not talk about money. That's gauche. Dead end. When you drive around, you never know. Sorry, I just had some coffee. I think it's coming back. Oh, we're good. Mic check, mic check. One, two, one, two. Coffee. Uh, c coffee. Good. When you drive by these houses, you never know who lives in them. You get a star map, but I find that fascinating just to drive through them thinking, I wonder who lives there, I wonder who lives there, I wonder who lives there, because they're all owned by celebrities and people in the business, and all celebrities live, live here. I mean, you, you're surrounded. Who knows who lives in that house? Who knows who lives up that driveway? Who knows who lives there? Actually, I know who lives there. I actually own this house. This is my house. Uh, I own a lot of property here in Hollywood. I own the upstairs of that house, just the upstairs. This is kind of my block, they call it Scott Block. And I'm currently in negotiations to buy the bathroom 
from this house just lease it out so they won't they'll live there but they won't have a bathroom it'll belong to me so it's tough negotiations and i want that cinder block that's kind of the deal that has to be put in the deal so <laughs> no i don't own these houses it's a joke because i couldn't afford one because youtube doesn't pay a lot of money why am i whispering i don't know i'm suddenly turning into kathleen turner or nathan uh nathan lane nathan lane you know uh, uh no uh harvey fierstein beautiful house now let's walk up here oh look at that sign they got official parking shut up look at that house right up right up there you know whose house that is that house belongs to richard simmons mic drop boom Richard Simmons, legend. And I'm not just saying that to be funny. A little bit. He's a legend. Remember Rich Simmons? Sweating to the oldies? He's doing something to the oldies? He did a lot of things to the oldies. But oldies music. Not what you're thinking if you don't know who Rich Simmons is. He's an exercise guru. Do you want to dance your pants off? Just clap your hands. And he was outlandish with his little striped shorts, and his little tank top, and his big curly hair. He's Richard Simmons, man. I mean, come on. Who doesn't love Richard Simmons? Don't look at me. That's right. Who doesn't love Richard Simmons? He's outlandish. He's crazy. Where is he, though? He's disappeared from the public eye. He's now a bit of a recluse. Reclu he recluse. Recluse. He's now a bit of a loner. He doesn't really leave this house. He's in that house right now, I can guarantee you. He's there, he's not coming out. He just removed himself from the public eye and apparently cut off all contact with friends and family. But that's not really, I'm not gonna get in that. There's a podcast about it, you know, finding Richard Simmons, searching for Simmons, or looking for Simmons, or where's Dick, you know, that, I don't know what the hell, it was, it was good though. But Richard Simmons' house is right here. Now, I'm a big Howard Stern fan. Love Howard Stern, especially back in the. Gary! I'll stop it. Especially back in the, like, 2000s. Like Artie Lang time. And, uh, you know, Richard and Sal. I just love it. Yeah. But Richard Simmons was a frequent guest on the Howard Stern show. Howard loved him. <laughs> hey! Hi. Richard, you look great. Look at you. How yeah. are you? Hi, good morning. Benji I, kissed Richard on the cheek and I Richard pulled some, away. You want some Wouldn't moonshine you? maple syrup? Give me a little hug first. I haven't seen you. Hi, Artie's hi. up to 300 pounds. I never heard that before. That's your, uh, give me a hug. Hey, how you doing? How are you? Nice to see you. Good to see you. Hi, Ron. And, but Richard, they tormented him a bit, but he loved it. He was in on the joke. Same with Let, David Letterman. Same, Letterman had him all the time and made fun of him, you know, because Richard was just so crazy. Oh, okay. Richard, come on. The guy coming out in the elevator is having a great time. <laughs> <laughs> really? Are you real? Richard. Oh, he's please. Please. Just okay. Oh, Richard, come on. And, but he had a thing with a Howard's producer, Gary Delabate, Baba Booey. And he really needed him to help him a lot. So he would call out his name, Gary, Gary, a lot. Gary? Like that. So... I find that hilarious every time I hear it. They still play it on Howard Stern, sound bites. And, but we're gonna be quiet while we're here on Richard Street and we take a look at his house. I just thought I'd throw that in there, the, you know, the, uh, <laughs> the way he yells Gary and trying to get Gary, the producer, to come to his aid to help him because he's stressed out by Howard Stern. It's kind of funny. Gary. Right now, what's interesting about this house? Let's walk over to it now. There we go. Gary, come in here. Okay. See the house? There it is, right there. But what's cool about the house is look at the mailbox. The mailbox is the house. The mailbox is the house. Gary, where are you? That's right. So you're looking at Richard Simmons' house. 
And I've been here many times. I was out here with my friend Michelle, and I filmed, started filming a video, but it was connected to another video, so I thought, just thought I'd, th thought I'd come back out here, make another video. As you can see, tomorrow is collection day. That's why all the recycling bins are out on the street, but there's nothing going on here. There's the garage, that's Richard Simmons' garage. Hey. What? Gary! Okay. There's his house. There's his driveway. World famous exercise guru, Richard Simmons, lives here. Wild. Gary! Stop it, stop it. Okay. Yeah, there's no sign of him anymore at all. He's alive, He's. I hope he's well. I really do. And I think he just lives with his housekeeper who takes care of him, there's lots of different conspiracy theories about where he is or what's going on with him or who who has control of his money and I mean he made a lot of money in the 80s and 90s but um and 2000s I guess but I'm not going to get into that I'm just here to show you Richard Simmons house look what's up what's that up there in the in the window it looks like balloons what's he got up there what's he storing above the columned entrance R Richard what do you got? Gary. Okay. Gary, come in here. I know. I know. I know, Richard. I know. But yeah, I never actually get tired of coming and just looking at this house. I don't know why. I find it comfort. It's so quiet here. Look at those houses up there. Look at them. Gary! Okay. All right. Stop. Do you see them? So, yeah. He would call out for Gary. Howard's producer to come to his to help him because Howard and the rest of them were teasing mercilessly. But Richard Simmons was in on the joke and knew how to give it back tenfold. Guy has a wicked sense of humor. And I'm actually a really huge fan. And I wish he yelled Scott because I would come and help him. I would. But instead, he yells. Gary! For Gary. Richard Simmons' house right there. And that mailbox. I love the mailbox. The mailbox is a little run down. There's no balloons. There's no balloons in that mailbox, though. Richard, why do you have balloons up there? What are you celebrating? And can I come? I don't know. Gary. Hmm. Gary, come in here. Hmm. Gary, where are you? Okay. Oh, Jesus. He's having a breakdown. All right. So that's Richard Simmons' house here in the Hollywood Hills. The expensive, the luxurious, the glamorous... Hollywood Hill. Gary! Gary! So that's Richard Simmons. So that's Richard. So that's Richard Simmons' house here in the luxurious, expensive, the glamorous Hollywood Gary. Hills. Shut up. Hollywood Hills. Gary. Right here. Okay. And, um, Gary. where am I going? Am I, well. Gary. Gary, come in here. <laughs> Gary, where are you? I don't know where he is, Richard. I don't know. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video. Where were like a pothole in the Hollywood Hills? I'm calling the I'm calling somebody. I'm calling me Karen on tape. I'm calling somebody about this because I shouldn't be tripping. Why are you tripping? What what just happened for the last ten minutes? What did you watch? Peace. Richard Simmons, come back to public life. To the public eye. We need you. We need you more than ever. Gary. Gary, come in here. Peace. Out.